So how do we add a feature or app by using source code instead of using something that's pre-built? Well, of course, we can add it to our local manifest, just like we saw adding a new device to our manifest uh, tree to download that project, download that repository to be used. But, um, you know, before we looked at how we could go, for instance, like on my website, you grab a app that's already pre-built, and then um, you can um, add that in there as a pre-built. But how do we add something as a source code? We're going to look at uh, OmniSwitch. OmniSwitch is something I add to a lot of my custom ROMs. Uh, we're just going to Google it here, bring it up on GitHub, and here we have source code for OmniSwitch. And I think it's just a really cool uh, thing to add to your ROMs. This is just one example. You could add just about anything this way. <clears throat> but, um, you know, of course, a, a big way would be to add that to our uh, local manifest, our room service. So you can see, okay, we've added our TBLT common, and now I've added this OmniROM Android package apps OmniSwitch. And we're going to put it in the package apps OmniSwitch place, remoting from GitHub. I think this, I thought I'd save us a little time by, by going through um, doing the synchronization first. So now we've added that app. Um, and here we open it up into our um, code that we have. And we see this uh, android.make file in there. And the local package name is OmniSwitch. So we've added this to our code, but if we build right now, it doesn't actually get built. What we need to do is tell the specific phone uh, that we're trying to build, or device, I should say, because you could be building a tablet instead of a phone, but typically most people are building phones. So we need to tell it that we want to add that package as well. So notice our pre-built app, we're just going to go ahead and add this backslash, and we're going to add OmniSwitch. So now you're saying, well, wait a minute, that's going to go look in the pre-built app. So it is going to go look in the pre-built app to see if there's an OmniSwitch, and then it's not going to find one, and then it's going to look around and say, hey, does anybody out there have this package called OmniSwitch? And it's going to read through all of those make files and all of those folders, and it's going to come to the conclusion that, hey, in this package app folder, there's an OmniSwitch app. And it's going to find this Android make file. It's going to read through it and say, hey, here it is. So you see when you look at the uh, source code, you see all of the um, all the code there is just in this folder. So uh, something to be careful of when you're building with source code, you may actually run into problems with things like dependencies, different versions of Java, or um, different versions of uh, tools were used to build it. So when you're building your um, custom ROM, you may actually run into snags or problems with that, and the build may fail due to being unable to build a particular package. I just want you to be aware of that. Um, you may need to do something to make a, make a package buildable. Um, but yeah, then we go back to our terminal, and we open up, and we, we run and, and build our device again. It's going to go look for this Omni switch and add it, hopefully, to our, uh, to our device.